I need to physically smudge my channel. Sage life. We cleanse in the air of any negative energies. All y'all people out there. We're about to have a good time today. We're about to talk about astrology. What? <laughs> uh, I love Sage so much. I named my daughter Sage. All right. Let's get started. Y'all probably still gonna see my smoke going, but it's all good. Okay, so today we are going to talk about astrology. I wanted to say astrology. Today we're going to talk about astrology, but I didn't want y'all trying to come for me. Like, does she know how to say? Does she know how to say astrology? Yes, I know how to say astrology. But anywho, the title is astrology for dummies. But just because you're here does not mean you're a dummy. Astrology for dummies is just for if you're new, if you just want to know some basic concepts about astrology. Disclaimer, I am not an astrologer. I am self-taught, so everything I say in here is factual. But if you want to know more in-depth things, I will ask you to reach out to an astrologer. And I can plug some down in the links in the description box that I really look up to. Um, but yeah, without further ado... Let's get into this astrology for dummies, beginner astrology, whichever makes you feel better. Um, Cause yeah, I just feel that more people need to know about astrology. Like we know about like Briggs Myers, five love languages, but did you know that if you knew the placement of your spouse's Venus, that it could also tell you how to love him or her. me yeah like venus is the placement of where your partner loves but we'll get all into that a little later we're gonna start from beginning we're gonna start over here and we're gonna get over here and yeah okay so astrology has four basic elements earth water fire and air Earth, water, fire, and air. So, in those four elements, there are 12 zodiac signs. 3, 3, 3, and 3. 3, 6, 9, 12. Okay, so, your earth signs. We have Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. For your water signs, we have Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. For your fire signs, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> you got Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. And for your air signs, you have Aquarius, Gemini, and Lucky Libra. <laughs> okay, so now that we've gotten that started and breaking it down to categories, also, if you feel like you ever need help remembering all 12 zodiac signs, Sing the Beyonce song. Y'all know which song I'm talking about. That song, whenever I'm like, hold up, what sign is next? Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, oh, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. I love all y'all. Wish you Jay Z when she made that song. Because it's very ironic that she's a Virgo and she's like, Sagittarius, I love all y'all. Cause Jay-Z clearly is a Sag, <laughs> team Sag. Um, but yeah, so now you have your four elements and you have your 12 zodiac signs. Some people study the 13 zodiac signs. I've looked into it. The, astrology, the astrologers that I look up to don't practice the 13 signs. If you do, that's fine with you. I don't. So yeah, we're going to be doing the 12 zodiac signs because that's what I know. That's what I love. And that's what I study. And that's what resonates with me. I feel like with anything you should do in life, no matter what it is, it needs to resonate with you. Because if it's re resonating with you, it's resonating with your soul. And y'all know I'm all about some spiritual stuff. I'm so spiritual. Like, I love spirituality. Um, 
because I love my soul. And I want you guys to learn to love your soul and learn to love you. And that's why I decided to give these basic concepts of astrology because when I was talking to some friends just recently, everybody's like, you lost me. Like when you say moon sign, they're like, huh? And I'm like, you don't know. So now that you have your fourth elements, 12 signs, we're gonna move on. And if you are one of those signs, the day you were born, the magical day that the sun shined, that the moon was out, that every single thing in the world was like, welcome to Earth. We only really think about the sun and Earth because we're on it and the moon, possibly the stars, but what's the little song y'all learned in kindergarten? Mercury, Venus, Earth. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. All my planets go around and around and around the sun. Remember that song? Yeah, all of those planets were aligned somewhere and doing something and on the day you were born. Some, they were, some zodiac was in those different areas as well. Like, you know the constellations that face into your Taurus. You know that the constellation was in Taurus when you were born. But there are other things like Pluto, Mercury, Venus, Mars. All of this stuff affects you. And you didn't even know it. But it does. Because I can guarantee you some of y'all are having a crazy summer. Yeah. Why? Because there's been like six retrogrades and like three eclipses. We went through two one more is coming so yeah but keep saying it doesn't affect me the stars and the moon and all of that stuff is just good lot and it doesn't affect me it doesn't affect me here on earth because i'm just an earthling yeah anywho so moving along <laughs> so let's say you have the day you were born your son is in Taurus. The, the moon was also placed somewhere. So when you look at your chart, and I will plug that down below, I like to use cafe astrology. I know people like to use different things. I feel like for basic, just getting to know yourself, cafe astrology is good. There are some people who are like, oh no, cafe astrology, you need to know your wheel chart. You'll learn the wheel eventually, but I feel like if you look at your chart on cafe astrology and read the descriptions below, you will connect with something, you will, it will resonate with you, and you will know if this is for sure for you. So, oh, and first off, you're going to do your natal chart, because this is what I'm discussing now. So we did the four elements, the 12 zodiac signs. Now I'm gonna go and show you how those zodiac signs can affect you with each planet, with your Lilith, with your Midheaven, how your Midheaven can help you with career. It can show you where you may need to focus your career mindset on based off your astrology um so yeah but first off when you're doing your chart you go to cafe astrology if you pick time unknown it is only going to give you half of your chart in order to get your accurate astrological chart you need your full birth certificate with birth time this matters, people, because you can do it, but it will not be accurate. And also, if you do time unknown, it won't be accurate. If you guess a time, you could get a moon or a rising sign. I'm sure some of this is sounding so unfamiliar. I promise you, the more you get into it, it would all make sense. But if your birth time is not accurate, you could your moon or your rising or just anything might have changed within the hour, within the day, like because you really need that birth time. You can look it up without the birth time, but in order to get an accurate, you know for sure this is your birth time. You need that, I mean, this is your uh, birth chart. You need that birth time. You can call your mom up and be like, yo, mom, what time was I born? That's awesome, but if mom is just 
maybe was on meds and low key forgot, she may not give you the accurate time. So I say call your mom, but also get a copy of your birth certificate with the time and compare them. For me, my mom been told me I was born at night. I got my birth certificate. It was night. Boom. We in there. So yeah. Okay. So you got your birth certificate. You're ready to do your chart. Boom. Type it in. What is all this stuff? Sun, moon, Mercury, Venus. I'm lost. Okay. So your sun sign is you. It's who you are, man. It's all you. It's like what you represent. Your moon sign is who you are emotionally. I'm a fire sign, but emotionally I'm a water sign. So I'm very sensitive. I should have told you all that. But anywho, but don't play me because my Mercury is in Sagittarius. So that means I communicate like a Sag, so don't get it twisted. Okay? And your Mars is your action. And then you have your Jupiter, which represents your expansion. I love Jupiter, one, because it's my ruling planet. And Jupiter is always trying to give you some stuff, yo. You need to know where your Jupiter is at. Um, your Saturn represents your restriction. You need to know where your Saturn is. Your Saturn? You need to know where your Saturn is, okay? Because your Saturn represents your restriction. And if your Saturn just happens to be in Capricorn, welcome to the team because you're going through your Saturn return right now. And that definitely matters. Okay, um, now we have your Venus. Do you love me? Your Venus is your love placement. You want to know your Venus and you want to know your spouse's Venus because you need to know if their face is compatible. Because see, we always leave it at the sun sign. Oh, I'm not compatible with him because I'm a Virgo and I ain't compatible with them air signs. But no, you need to know even deeper than just your sun sign. You need to know your Venus. Do Are your love placements compatible? Your Uranus. Your Uranus represents your rebellion. Hmm. Y'all know some Aquariuses? Because Aquariuses are ruled by Uranus and ain't they rebellious? Okay. Aquarius is actually ruled by Uranus and Saturn, but um, yeah, mostly Uranus and yeah, they're rebellious. That's how you can remember that one, trust me. Um, <laughs> your Lilith represents your sexual desires. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, your Lilith, you got Lilith and Scorpio. Mm. That's all I'm going to say. But for the most part, your Lilith also is going to show you like what can consume you. You don't need too much of wherever your Lilith is in. Like, if your Lilith is in Scorpio, you're a very sexual creature. Do not be consumed by your sexual desires. Um, also, your ascending represents how people take you, how people think you are. When you meet people, they're like, oh, you seem like an Aries. But you're like, no, I'm not. That could be because your ascendant is in another zodiac sign. So y'all didn't know it was this D. Y'all just thought y'all just thought y'all was just walking around. I'm Virgo and Taurus. You know how some people be like, uh-uh, you can't say every zodiac sign act like because I'm a Scorpio and I don't act like them Scorpios. Boo boo, that's probably true. Because guess what? You're a Scorpio, but you're also Sag Sun, or this Venus, or that Mercury. Like, you get what I'm saying? It's so much in the pot. And y'all just on one little bitty teeny weeny thing at the beginning of it. I just know my sun sign. Y'all, it's so much deeper than that. And the things I'm telling y'all is deeper than that. Like, do y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't even really, really understand. Y'all don't really understand that astrology is so deep. What I'm telling you today is just brushing the surface. I'm still learning. Like, learning about stellums, that's when you have more than four placements, three placements, in one concentrated zodiac sign in your chart like the planets more than three placements in one zodiac sign on your chart like say for instance if you're mercury venus and saturn were all virgo you would have a stellum in virgo um some people have more than that i've seen charts where people literally have one all the way down and it's like hello what how they happen 
Guess what? We're not even finished. On the other side of the chart, you have your houses. But if you if you're looking at the wheel, it's like split up, and the houses are like up in the air. But yeah, you have you have your houses like, and the houses all represent something different. Like astrology is deep, y'all. So all I'm gonna do is tell y'all. I'm gonna say I'm going to put in the cafe astrology link down below, and I want you guys to check that out seriously. So I hope that I've been informative, and I hope that you know you guys have learned something from my channel also just so you know like it's some crazy energy right here out here right now jupiter and scorpio um you know revealing all these truths revealing all these dark secrets that's why we've been seeing so much come out like when you look at your chart go and see where like say for instance it may have pluto and then they'll have Pluto in Scorpio. And then they'll have Saturn. Like all of that matters. Saturn in Capricorn. Like I told you, if your Saturn's in Capricorn, you're going through your Saturn return right now. Like that matters. Some people say you don't even need to get married until you go through your Saturn, your Saturn return because it's such a pivotal point of your life. Um, so yeah, I want you guys to look at those charts. And I hope that when you see your chart, don't disregard anything. Whether you're looking at the chart, whether you're looking at the wheel. The wheel is, for me, I think beginning astrology is more complicated. I believe you need to look at this, the chart, get familiar with what it is you're looking at, and maybe compare them and teach yourself. But for the most part, look at those placements, read descriptions, Google. You're going to have to Google. Cafe Astrology is not going to tell you everything. You have to Google, learn this. This is a basic, this is still the basics you got to continue to feed and continue to get all of this knowledge so when you look first off the first thing i want you guys to do this is your your test learn your sun moon and rising if anything these are the basics about yourself and then from there especially your, those of you who are looking for relationships and you just feel like it's not working you need to go look at venuses you need to look at the venuses this is about love um, and then from there, continue to grow, continue to learn. I know all of this is sounding so new, it's sounding so foreign, but I promise you, if you go get your charts, if you go plug in the information, like I said, and please have your birth time, you can do it without your birth time, but I am telling you, it is not accurate. So if you do it without your birth time, just to kind of get an idea, know that it can change. So don't be out here saying, I'm a so-and-so if you did not do it with your birth time because it's not 100% accurate and I'm sorry, but yeah, we got, guys, you gotta have that birth certificate and you gotta put that in accurately. Um, but yeah, other than that, go check it out. Seriously, get to know yourself. Like, because I promise you, this will help you just tremendously. And I just want to be in a world where more people know themselves, know how to maneuver with people. We're understanding people on a different level and getting to know ourselves. So I really hope you guys learned something today. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that red button below. Subscribe to my channel. Um, we're all about lifestyle, food, good eating. I'm all about spiritually. I'm all about feeding yourself inside and pushing beautiful energy outside. That's pretty much all my channel is going to be about. Just beautiful lifestyle, beautiful food, excitement, and yeah. So travel, like everything that consists of having a beautiful life. So subscribe to my channel, guys. Thumbs up me. And yeah, I hope you go get those, do those natal chart. Come back and tell me in the comments below, what is your sun, moon, and rising? I want to know that. And if you already know it, perfect. Um, but yeah, let's get to know ourselves. I will come back and break down further because all of this can be broken down into another step. But I literally want to give you the basis. Um, so yeah. I will come back and anything you want me to break down further, I will do it. But yeah, thank you guys and thanks for watching.